Hi everybody, this is Carla with Cobweb Corner. If you're new to the channel, this is a channel about cross-stitch and my cross-stitch shop. Um, it's cobwebcorner.com. And this particular video, I'm going to show you what I still have in stock from the Nashville 2023 market releases. So there's a ton, a ton to show you. So grab a, a paper and pencil in case you see something uh, that you might be interested in. And I'll go through them as quickly as I can. Um, some of the things I will not have in stock again. And uh, many of them, most of them, I will be reordering as um as I need to. So the first one is Glendon Place. I was really surprised only one person pre-ordered this. Um, this is actually the Sullivan's Floss Pack for this chart. I've got the chart in a little bit, but it is Horn of Plenty. Um, and there's also, I think, an embellishment pack that I may be sold out of. I'm not sure, um, but it uses, I think, 73 colors and 75 skeins. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful design, um, but it would be a challenge. That's a big one. Daughters of America mini series by Twin Peak Primitives. This is three a set of three patriotic designs. I have one of those left. The BU Tiffle Sampler. It says, don't be afraid, just believe. And this is really pretty. It's kind of hard to see on the fabric choice that they made, but it's got bees, um, flowers, and an ornate alphabet, and some Dutch sampler motifs in it. And that's by Twin Peak Primitives. And I've got two of those left. Amish Country. This is contentment is not getting what you, we want, but being satisfied with what we have. That's by Twin Peak Primitives. Patriotic Smalls. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, patriotic small designs. Uh, we've got Independence Day, Peace by Peace, Fourth of July, USA, Memorial Day, Shore of Freedom, and more. So that's a really nice booklet. I've got a couple of those left. Nobody pre-ordered this one, and I think it's just stunning. This is number four in the Hungarian Folk Art Series by Glendon Place. And just look at those um, Easter eggs. They're so colorful. And that's the chart. I've got two of those, I think. And then it uses sulky threads. And that is the wholesale price, not the retail price. <laughs> Sorry about that. So if you've never used sulky threads, I have just been using them for the first time on a design by uh, Rosewood Manor. And I love them. The way it works is the sulkies fill in, they're the equivalent of two strands of DMC, but you only have to use one strand. So your strands never get twisted and you don't have to worry about trying to thread your needle with two strands. Um, they're really, really a joy to work with. And look at those colors, it's just beautiful. But this one comes with um, an optional sulky thread uh, pack and a bead pack. And I think that's it. I don't think there was a rainbow galleries uh embellishment pack for that so that is hungarian folk art number four and then here is the um silk lame uh, petite braid by rainbow gallery that is used in the uh, horn of plenty by glendon place and then there's the actual chart for horn of plenty then i have the pendulum board by bendy stitchy as maybe yes no and rephrase and then the chatter broth and this is part of the cross stitch the rainbow and uses the trainway silks uh tea time palette and let me grab one of those i think i have 12 of these left so i have these are the colors that you get you get four skeins um and they each skein is 10 yards so you have enough floss to do multiple charts. Um, I'm not going to say how many because each chart has a different stitch count, but most of them are pretty small in um, in the um, Cross Stitch the Rainbow series. So I've got 12 of these floss sets left, and this is one of the charts in the Cross Stitch the um, Rainbow series uh, that a number, I think there were a total of 25 designers participated in, and this is Chatter Broth by Bendy Stitchy. This is Be a Friend by um, Needlework Press. It says, without a friend, the world is but a wilderness. This was a surprise hit in the market this year. 
This is Sambri Stitches Bigfoot in Spring, and it is so, ador so adorable. There are lots of little things. I love the cloud and the rain and Bigfoot holding the umbrella. And then you've got the robin, you've got a bee, you've got some flowers, you have a little rabbit on top of a snail and a butterfly. There's all kinds of little things in that chart. And I will be offering this as a PDF. I just don't have it up on my website yet, but I do have a couple left in printed version. Also by Sambri Stitches is Spring at Autumn Hills Place. By Ink Circles is the latest, the least of the fleet, sorry. Um, and it says, a stitch tribute to the beautiful antique tampon ship cloth weavings of Sumatra, but a bit smaller than all the others in this series. Five tiny vessels to be stitched together or individually. Got a couple of those left. By Sambri Stitches is Beach Sampler and also Adventure Sampler. She lives on the Pacific West Coast, so and she is outdoors all the time, so she has lots of motifs from being outdoors. Then I have one limited edition um, Cardinals and Evergreens kit by Praiseworthy Stitches. This one will probably, if you order it, will ship separately. Um, it, I don't know exactly, there's three different smalls that are shown, and it's also got a scissor fob, and I'm not sure if the beads, there are beads in there, so you can see there's all kinds of embellishments, there's fabric, um, I'm sure, oh, there's the floss, um, um, stitching fabric and backing fabric, and then the instructions, and then there's this plastic ba uh, box that when you flip the lid over, I think it looks like a gift. So I have one of those left, and those are limited. I won't be getting any more of those in. And then also by Praiseworthy Stitches is a limited edition Christmas Joy Ornament Kit. And this is a um, um, oh, half circle, I don't know what I'm looking for there, um, acrylic. And you stitch on the front, and it's got all of the different things. It's got the ribbon and the trim and the floss and a holder and some beads. And then it will look like that when it's done. And I only have one of those left. Okay, that's just the beginning of a bunch. Ink Circles Tea Berry Tile. This is another one in the Cross Stitch the Rainbow and uses the Tea Time Palette series. I really like this one. It's nice and delicate. It's got the little tiny teacup in the, in the center. And They Were Not Ashamed by La Di Da. This is an Adam and Eve sampler. I just have one of these left. Needle Book, Needle Book by Lottie Dye. You get the designs for both of these uh, needle books. I just have one of those left. And then one of the hits of market this year is the Summer Quaker Sampler by Leela Studio. It is just stunning. Um, not only are the colors amazing, but um, it says, live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. And it's got all kinds of beach and ocean motifs interspersed with the Quaker motifs. So you've got a compass here, a crab, a lobster, a seagull, a starfish, um, and then we've got the whale, the fish, the mermaid, the waves, the ship, the lighthouse. It's just a really, really stunning, stunning sampler. It would be quite a um, uh, challenge and it is stitched all in DMC, so you're not gonna spend a fortune on silk threads. Also by Leela Studio is the Lord's Prayer. Really well done. Heartstring Samplery and, um, oh, this is Heartstring Samplery. So this is uh, Sunday Stitches, and it's a collection of favorites, hymns to stitch and sing, and it is a, um, reissue as a book she used to have a sunday stitches series and i believe she included all from her previous series plus two new ones um doesn't say here um, but it's a really really nice booklet and you get a ton of designs so it's i don't know what all they are Let's see if there's a it's got amazing grace be thou my vision Abide with me, it is well with my soul, for beauty of the earth, and many more. So that's new by Heartstring. I have two of those. And then super, super big seller, Sting Like a Bee. This was a collaboration with Plum Street Samplers. Plum 
Street uh, samplers did float like a butterfly and Heartstring did sting like a bee. And it's called Sting. And I've got a number of those left. I've got one of My Sweet Home and you can stitch it with a sampler house or you can insert a um, photo. You can insert a photo of your family or insert a photo of your home, whatever you want to do there. And that's called My Sweet Home. This is the French Flea Market Biscornu by Heartstring Samplery. Um, her Biscornos are so delicate and pretty. These are um, uh, kind of French blue uh, flowers. If you also check out her Brown Bird Biscornu, though that is also just really, really pretty. But this is a market release. Okay, excuse me, reach. I've got one of Haunted Hillside Farm by Praiseworthy Stitches. And then from their Simple Gifts series, this is um, Simple Gifts Snow. I really, really like Praise. If you haven't seen their Simple Gifts series, check it out on my website. I really like these. They've got the Quaker motifs. And then this one says, Peace, Frosty, Cold, and Snow. I've got three or four of those left. And then this one, oh, I didn't bring it in. This one is Chilly Willy um, Stacker, and it's so adorable. Um, it's got all the snowmen and the winter scenes. And then there is an antique spool that is included. I don't think that in the future when I order that I'll get the antique spool, but I have three of the spools left. Um, and so you stitch the um, each piece of the snowman and then you put the spool in the center to hold it up. So sorry I didn't bring that in with me. But, oh wait, yes, I do have them. So you get one of these with it and i'm pretty sure that um when i order through hoffman um unless i were to order directly from them that i will not be getting any more of the spools in so those are really cool so i've got three of the charts and three of the spools by finally um a farm girl wool and flax she seeks wool and flax and works willingly with her hands Got a couple of those by Finally a Farm Girl, Not Even a Mouse. And then nobody pre-ordered this one, and I think it's adorable. This is Finally a Farm Girl's Easter Matilda, and I think it is just really cute. Finally a Farm Girl, My Angel Mother. This is a quote by Abraham Lincoln. All that I am or hope to be, I owe to my angel mother. This was um, by Running with Needles and Scissors. This is the Stitch Buttons uh, Kit. It was really cute. The holder does not come with it, but it's just a standard um, Scrabble tile holder. And you get the chart, the fabric, and the floss. And I'm trying to see, uh, it's called Old Maid of the Lake Silk Floss, but I'm trying to see who it's by. Hand dyed, I can't tell who it's by, but I have two of those kits left. They are really, really cute. Then, new designer um, to me is uh, Ingleside Imaginarium, and this is their Tea Time Companion, and I love this chart. This is from the Cross Stitch the Rainbow series, and it's got the dragon curled around the teapot and teacup, and I just love this. I did pick up a couple more designs by Ingleside Imaginarium, but I have not got them listed on my website yet. But this one I love. By Needle Bling Design, Keeper of the Bees. And for the Cross Stitch, the Rainbow, Stitching Time. And this one's really cute, too. It's got the teacup filled with flowers. It says Stitching Time. It's got some scissors and then a spool of thread with flowers. And that uses the Tea Time Palette by Trinway. We're not even an eighth of the way done. Those are duplicates. Rosewood Manor High Tide, this is so unique. It's got all of the things under this ocean, the jellyfish, seaweed, fish, um, seahorses, turtles, all kinds of things. It's just stunning, stunning design. And then Lacey Cottage Sampler by Rosewood. This would be a challenge, um, but it is so beautiful. Just look at this basket, it is just stunning. Uh, she does, Karen Kluba is just amazing. And then this one is really unique. I'm not sure I would stitch it on this fabric, um, but it's really bold and um, beautiful. 
It's got all kinds. It's called Dragonfly Dreams. It's got dragonflies all throughout. And then it has um, inspirational words like renewal, purity, light, harmony, grace, happiness, clarity, prosperity, courage, um, poise, and good luck. Sorry, I couldn't read that one. Um, so that is Dragonfly Dreams by Rosewood Manor. And then nobody ordered, pre-ordered this design, and I think it's just stunning. This is from the Of the Kingdom series. So she's got Keys of the Kingdom, Ships of the Kingdom, Crowns of the Kingdom, and this is Royals of the Kingdom. And I think it's amazing. Um, it does use a lot of, I'm sorry, don't we look at this part. It does use a lot of Rainbow Gallery uh, threads. One, two, three, ten cards of SP01. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors of Rainbow Gallery. And then DMC Black. Isn't that amazing? And look at those dogs. It's just like a really cool design. I would love to see that stitched. Silver Creek Samplers, this was another one I was surprised. I only got one pre-order for this, um, and I love it. It says, you planted daisies in my heart that bloom and grow each day. Indeed, I see your love for me inside their sweet bouquet. Then by Silver Creek Stamp Samplers, um, probably her most popular design this year, at least as far as my pre-orders, was Introverted. It says, Introverted, but will eagerly discuss everything cross-stitch. And I've got a few of those left. And then Deputy Doxy's Posse is so cute. It's got the mama dog with the little puppies. And then I didn't get any pre-orders for this, and I think it's adorable. It's called Free Bee, and an all-American Free Bee, and it's got the patriotic bee, and I think it's really cute. It's only 69 by 71. I think it's just really cute. Jurassic Perk, Brood to Extinction. T-Rex, T-E-A, Rex. It's really cute, the little dinosaur in the teacup. And then Reaching for Hope, it says, Give the world your love and care. Let hate be cast out everywhere. Okay. We're maybe a fourth of the way done. Excuse me, Reach. Dirty Annie's, I don't have many of her designs left. Most of, most of them have sold out. This is Greyhound Santa, really unique design. It's got Santa in a gray patterned cloak with three Greyhound dogs. And then Cat Cuss, the cat in the southwestern pot with the cacti. Top Knot Stitcher, cup of tea. Um, a top notch cup of tea and this is the uses the tea time palette and is from the cross stitch the rainbow collaboration that's real and somebody asked me where she got the um teapot frame thing to mount that on and there is nothing on the design that states where she got that by rebel stitchers civil samplers this is three separate designs from um Quotes of civil leaders. It's got the Cage Bird Sings um, by Maya Angelou. Never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. If they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. I'm sorry, I don't know who those quotes are by. Um, then uh, this one is Happily Ever After. There once was a woman who gave no, and I can't say that word or I'll get censored. Not even one, she lived happily ever after. Also by Rebel Stitcher is the Ann Pilgrim sampler. It's got, uh, it's really, really pretty. I love the uh, colors that are used in this one. And this is stitched in Overo um, Aswa silks with a DMC conversion. By Kathy Barrick, we have Majestic Birds. Really beautiful. And also by Kathy Barrick, I give you my hand. By Heart and Hand, Floral Etchings. This was really pretty. I love this one. I saw this one framed at market and really, really like that one. Super popular design from the Tiny Town series, Honey of a Tiny Town, and this does inc include some buttons to embellish the design. This one was also super popular, the Cuckoo Bird Sampler by Heart and Hand. 
every little day, uh, everyday things. It says the everyday sweet little things are the most beautiful. And then it's got stitch, friends, family, home, nature. And that includes a little wooden heart button. Only have one of these left right now, a honey of a frill. And then by the Mindful Needle, we have Quaker Turtle. I think he's adorable. He got the Quaker motifs and the turtle with the little hat. It's a date, July 4th, by Mindful Needle, and it comes with a gold star charm. And then the Mindful Needle's um, Tea Time Palette Cross Stitch the Rainbow contribution, Anytime for Tea, and it says Anytime is Tea Time. And then to go with that, I have two of these left. These are the floss drops. You can see the stacked teacups. These are really cute. Um, there's four cards and a decorative ring and, and charm, one for each color in the Trinway uh, Tea Time Silk Palette. Then I've got by Summerhouse uh, Stitch Works is Days of Christmas Past. And I'm going to reach in and see if I can find my charm pack. Oh, I don't see it. I'll get to it. So this is the first in a series of three. Um, you use, I'm going to take this off so you don't see the patterns. Um, you use 14 count antique brown uh, perforated paper. And then there's a charm pack, which I know I have in my basket here somewhere that I'll find. This is the first in a set of three. So there will be a total eventually of nine ornaments. And the charm pack will be enough charms to decorate all nine. So um, I've got one of these left in stock right now. And, oh, here's the charm pack. So um, here's the charms for the Days of Christmas pa Past. And right now there's only uh, part one is out that came out with Market, but eventually there will be two more for a total of nine ornaments. By Summerhouse Stitchworks, Superior Bees, kind of a steampunk take on bees in the beehive. Carriage House Samplings, Anna's Bird. I've got two of those left. This was a very popular chart by Carriage House uh, Samplers. It's Fawn and Friend. By Hello by Liz Mathis, Basket and Butterflies. And Hello by Liz Mathis, her contribution to the Cross Stitch the Rainbow. Apple Mint Tea, Steep 4 Mint Tea Bags, Chill, Blend with Apple Juice, and Garnish with Mint Springs. And this uses the Tea Time Palette um, Silks by Trinway. Hello by uh, Liz Mathis, Forest Sampler. It's really beautiful. This one I saw and talked to Jeanette Douglas about. This is just a stunning, stunning sampler, but it is um, an advanced level stitch. Um, there are a number of specialty stitches in this sampler, but I saw it stitched and it was absolutely stunning. It says, through needle and thread, our joy does know um, with stitching our grief and sorrow does flow. May we always stitch a little each day and weave in the journey our love to stay. So really, really beautiful. Vintage Grapes, this is an addition to her vintage series. So she has um, vintage birds, vintage animals, vintage flowers, and now vintage grapes. Then by Sweet Ring Wing Studio, we have Rabbit Sunset. It says, the sun it sets and gives a glow which paints a lovely scene while the rabbits hop to and fro across the meadows green. And then Willing Hands, she seeks wool and flax and works with Willing Hands. That's by Sweet Wing Studio. By Summerhouse Stitch Works, we have number one and number two in the Fra Fragments in Time 2023 series. Here's Sweet Wing Studios contribution to the Cross Stitch the Rainbow, Always Time for Tea. And it says it's always time for tea. That uses the Trainway Silks. Pray Without Ceasing by Sweet Wing Studio. And then Tea Time Sewing Set is Manny Didana's um, contribution to the Cross Stitch the Rainbow. And you stitch this um, little uh 
small that has different pockets. I don't know if there's if there's three openings or two, but it does have a place that you can put two tea bags. And there is an accessory pack available for that. And I think I have three of the accessory packs left. And it comes with the striped, um, I don't know if it's felt, I think it's felt. And so it's got the striped felt and then it has three really pretty teacup charms and then a heart pin. So that would be what you would use to finish this set here. And I don't know if these will be available anymore after market. This was a huge seller. Um, Pedal Pusher uh, Barbie actually sold out of these at market. It is fresh picked lavender and she's coming out with, um, she also had fresh picked something else and I can't remember which. And then there's a new design coming out in the series. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say what it is or not, so I won't. Um, but this was really pretty. And every time I was in her room, somebody was in there ordering that chart or buying that chart. All right, we're still not halfway done. Jan Hicks creates samplings of lace. These are so pretty. Jan had a hard time after market. She got COVID and it took forever for her and her, and her husband got COVID too. Took them forever to drive home. Jan's contribution to cross stitch the rainbow, calm. Uh, it says zen and calm and it's got a teacup with a butterfly. And then her third in the series, Vintage Christmas Alphabets, number three, Family and Gift. And I do have number one, and I've ordered number two. So these are really pretty. They only use three colors of DMC. So um, super quick stitches, really pretty. They would make great gifts. Um, I think I saw on her Instagram that this was one of her best sellers at market. It is Spring Cottages by Jan Hicks Creates. And then Between Friends, this is a collaboration booklet um, from, between Summer House Stitches and Hands On Design. And let me see if I can open this off, off camera so I don't show you any. Here's one of the designs. I don't want to show any patterns. Got this one. There is... Those are the ones that are included. Honey Bee Games, Crocus Blue, Meadow Green, Alphabets uh, to personalize the design, Stitch Academy, a stitch or two or three, Biscornu, Love Gifts, and then resources used in the book. Let me see if I can. Here's the Biscornu. So cute. Um, so it's, and it's a really, really nice booklet. And that's called between Friends, a Spring Sampling. And I have that listed under Hands-On Design. My website only lets me list one designer per chart, um, but it is a collaboration between Summer House Stitch Works and Hands-On Design. Um, new series by Hands-On Design is the Polar Plunge series. There will, I think, eventually be nine. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Maybe there's only six. Um, it's Whale Hello There. Wally the Walrus, and Polar Bear Peak. Those are the three that were released, released with Market. Another one in the Triple Play Pillows. These are so pretty. They're not super small. So they're um, 67 by 67 stitched on 32. But they, I guess it's the finishing that makes them not really, really small. Um, but they're really beautiful. And they are stitched in DMC. Spring Chickens Pin Keep. I really like this one. It's got the chickens in the in the farmyard with the eggs and the baby chicks. This is by Stacy Nash Designs. By Hands On Design, I have Hoppy Easter um, Plaid All Year and Fourth of July from the Plaid All Year series. And we've got three of each of those left. By Erica Michaels, this is special notice, and I don't want to show. It doesn't have a picture of the finished design. But it says, the special notice, the attention of clerks is directed to the importance of suggesting to customers that before beginning a piece of work, a fully sufficient amount of silk be procured, as afterwards difficulty may be experienced in obtaining exactly the same shade. And she says that this is a notice that was actually printed 
two clerks from the inside lid of a thread box from M. Hemingway and Sons based in Watertown, Connecticut. It is a box for, quote, art needlework wash silks and would have been used to display the silks in a shop. Um, she says, I find it completely fascinating and a bit humorous. We need to follow the same advice today when choosing our supplies. Some things never change. And this is a um, charity piece. Proceeds from the sale of this will be donated to a local animal shelter in Clarksville, Montgomery County, Tennessee. So um, I'm not sure that how many of those I'll be getting, whether they're still going to be available or not. And then also by Erica Michaels, I've got a bunch of these left. Big, big seller at market was the next in her berry system. And these are Quaker Wisdom Berries. And it's Live Simply, let's see, um, Live Simply, Expect Less, and Give More. So you get all three designs. Got a number of those left. And then this is first in a five-part series. And it's really going to be an amazing chart when it's done. It's called Quilting ABCs. And it's a different square for um, each letter of the alphabet. Um, although there's two for the letter B. So it says Quilting B. And then it says B, oh, Amazed, A for Amazed. Brave, constant, diligent, um, extraordinary. So it's things like starts out with B and then be amazed, be brave, be constant. So it's really going to be an amazing design when it's done. And this is part one. I just have one of those left. The Embroideress by Erica Michaels. I just have one of those. Probably a uh, bestseller uh, for Erica Michaels for me was Heirloom Tomato. Love the colors. And you get both the small and the strawberry design. All right, I'd say we're over halfway done now. Float by Plum Street Samplers. And this is the collaboration between Heartstring Samplery and Plum Street Samplers. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And Penny Spring by Plum Street Samplers. Got the fox in the tree. And the Tortoise Tower, the next in the Stacking Animals series. And This I Know, Jesus Loves Me, This I Know by Plum Street Samplers. And then Star Barks, those were their releases. And then super popular at market this year was October House Fiber Arts. Um, this is a skinny mini um, from her skinny mini series. This is Snip Snip. And also from the skinny mini series is The Itch to Stitch. So cute. And then she had this amazing design um, called Honey Fair, which is, she now started a series. She had Strawberry Fair, and she decided to make that a series, and this is Honey Fair. I'm really looking forward to see what will be next in her series. Also by October House Fiber Arts is Vintage Tree and Americana Red, and Americana Red Sampler is stitched with five skeins of licorice red by Classic Color Works. The blue flower, this is the glad sun goes across the sky. It's called the glad sun. I only had one person pre-order this and I think it's amazing. The flowers are beautiful. Um, the sun, the decorations on the sun, the pattern on the sun, it's really, really pretty and unique. Um, spring quail. You get this design and this one. I sing of books of blossoms, birds, and bowers of May, April, May, and June, and July flowers. And Rabbit Parade. This was super, super popular, too. So cute. All the animals with their bunny ears. Okay. Almost done. Okay, we've got Blue Flower um, Tudor Goat from the Tudor series. And then Samplers Not Forgotten, One Nation, uh, Three Little Patriotic Designs. And they had, Samplers Not Forgotten had three or four kits. So this is Key to My Heart kit. So you get everything you need except the stuffing in the kits. You get the backing fabric, the floss, the trim, and the ribbon. So that one's Key to My Heart. And then Regal Bird kit. And there's what you get with that. And 
posy basket kit. And there's what you get you that. You get this cute silver butterfly charm and the ribbon and the backing and the floss. And her kits have been super, super popular. All right, this is it. Um, one more thing here. I have one of these and it doesn't sound like we'll be able to get any more. This was made by Heartstring Samplery and has enough holes for the floss needed for Float Like a Butterfly and Sting Like a Bee by Heartstring and Plum Street Samplers. Um, Beth's husband made this. It's a laser cut. It is absolutely stunning. Um, I asked her if she would continue to sell these and she said she had another one for her design Sunday stitches. Um, but she said this one had royalties because of the... Um, uh, Oh, who's the boxer? Muhammad Ali uh, saying, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. So she said because of the royalties, she probably won't continue to sell this, but I have one left. Um, and we'll see if she does or not, but it is absolutely beautiful. Um, Teresa Kogut, Needle and Flax. And then Teresa Kogut's booklets, Kindred Spirits. And these booklets are really nice if you've been buying... Um, they're color designs, and they are super, super nice, glossy finish. So if you've been buying uh, PDFs, these are ones that I would suggest um, buying for a collection and getting the hardcover version. So that's Kindred Spirits. It's a lot of stitching in these, but they're really pretty. And then this is Strawberry Manor. Just really beautiful. And then nobody pre-ordered this one, which I was shocked at because her designs are so popular. And I absolutely love these birds. And it says, nature fortifies the soul and brings peace to the heart from which love flows like a river. So I just love this design. I was really surprised I didn't get any pre-orders for that. Her Remember Me booklet. When this you see, remember me and just look at this floral border. So beautiful, and all these birds in the picket fence. It's just really, really beautiful. I've got one of only one of those left, I think. And then Beauty Fades by Teresa Kogut says, Youth is but a fleeting. Let's see. Youth is fleeting and beauty fades, but a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. Really, really pretty. And I've got two of those. And then um egg collector and I really love this primitive design it's got the um, Easter uh, the bunny in the dress with the basket trimming the Easter egg tree to get her eggs in her basket it's really really cute and that is it guys so the, all of as of the making of this video these are in stock some of them I will be restocking um, some I won't if you go to my website and they are out of stock add yourself to the wait list if there's a market design that you did not see listed here that you would like me to try to get, just use the contact me button and let me know what you're looking for and I'll see if I can get it for you. Um, you can find all of these at cobwebcorner.com. If you like the video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching everybody. Happy stitching.